Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Yesterday someone wrote to me about penis size, so I thought I would make this video. In fact, I was so inspired by the message that I received that I was going to make this video last night. I, mean, I never make nighttime videos, but anyway, I did it now. But I've been thinking anyway, I've, I just wanted to make this video about penis size in general, because I know that it's something that a lot of men suffer with, and it's not something, I think, there are a lot of factors involved. But anyway, let's look at the message. Okay, so it's kind of like, is size really important? I think people really want to know the truth and they don't want to hear that kind of, it's what you do with it that counts. <laughs> well, of course that's true. But anyway, let me just uh, read some of this. And uh, da, 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 da. he says, unfortunately I was not blessed in the size department. That makes me very sad when, when I read something like that because I think if some men have this, um, perception that their penis is not enough, then that's not a good thought process, you know? You've got to kind of um, appreciate your penis and be grateful for all the joy that it, it provides and, um, yeah, all the bodily functions it provides and all the pleasure that it gives you, I, I think that's more important. And also, I think if you have a more positive mindset towards your penis, then surely it will work better for you, you know, if you want it to become aroused and but you're angry with it, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my, my opinion, but I think, um, okay, so, mm -mm, and have been very underachieving for my partners, that's very sad, but remember, sex is not just penetration. One partner purchased and even asked me to use a penis sleeve that was much larger than my size. She said she liked to experiment, but I assume that she, that she could actually feel something, not to be graphic, but to be specific. And he tells me his measurements. And you know what? I'm not gonna say the measurements, but I looked at my dildo collection and your measurements are the same as this dolphin dildo from Fun Factory. This dildo is one of the most popular dildos in sex toy world. And it's been around for many, many, many years. And on speaking logically, do you think Fun Factory, a leading, a leading sex toy brand, would make its most popular dildo in a size that wasn't satisfying? I don't think so. In fact, this is exa exactly the size of your penis according to the measurements you've given me. So this is more than enough. But I think um, in terms of size, I think it's subjective. That's the truth about it. But what's really important are two things. I think hardness is more important and I've always said that in many 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 videos and so for example I remember one time this is not like a, a good example perhaps but I was seeing a guy who had a kind of smaller than average penis and it wasn't as big as this and it was but it was fantastic because he was so hard you know and then I was seeing another guy at the same time who had a big penis but it was not as hard as the smaller one and I remember being with the affair with, with my lover and um, I was performing oral sex, I remember that I, I was using two hands and there was still some penis out and I was thinking, wow, this is much bigger than the guy I'm actually officially with, but I can't feel anything. And that's because it wasn't hard enough. But as well as hardness, I think there is something that's very important and that is genital compatibility. And I think in this case, I mean, I know as soon as I, I have sex for the first time with someone, just that first entrance, I know if there's gonna be genital compatibility or not. And I think it's kind of like, does the glove fit, so to speak? Because it's not just about the male penis size, you've got to think about the vagina as well. I mean, for example, all vaginas are different. And I even asked you in this, um, in this message if you noticed a difference between different women, because some could be tighter than others. And it could also, it can, like, can vary from woman to woman, but it also can vary according to the menstrual cycle and how aroused you are. And pelvic floor strength, I mean, for me personally, I'm really working on um, improving my pelvic floor strength at the moment, because if you have a, a very strong pelvic floor, then that can really improve the genital compatibility if you need to make things a little bit tighter. So I think a woman suggesting to a man to wear a penis sleeve, well, two things come to mind there. I just think, how do you approach that in a way that's diplomatic without making the guy feel inadequate. I mean, I have got 600 sex toys. I've never ever tried a penis sleeve. But if you wanted to use a penis sleeve and make it a bit more, let's say, arousing for you, I would suggest putting some lubricant inside it. And I think, I don't know, I think it's kind of like a bit 
a bit cruel to kind of get one that's much bigger than the guy. I think that's kind of, I don't know, I think it's, I don't know if there's some underlying um, issues there that could be to, to want to make you feel inadequate. I don't know, because I mean, I think we should all be each other's cheerleaders and uplift people and not try and make them or accentuate their insecurities. Um, and another thing about penis sleeves, I would say it's, it's the equivalent of saying to a woman, hey, get some um, Kegel balls and tighten up down there. And how would you approach that to a woman? It's very, it could be very, very, very offensive, you know? Or yeah, it could be quite hurtful. At the same time, I would suggest if, you, if you're having issues with um, stimulation during penetration, maybe you could do both, you know, have a compromise and um, get the woman to start doing some Kegel training. And now there are so many cool things around. For example, you can even um, use the balls inside and have, some, have a remote control and you can do it outdoors. It's really a lot of fun. So it can, and I, I'm actually doing um, some reviews at the moment with some pelvic floor trainers that allow me to play video games with my vagina. And I've been doing it since December and I've noticed a massive difference. I'm telling you, it's so, 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 such a big difference, literally. So yeah, so that's very, very, very important. Um, and also I think it's very important um, positions. I think you mentioned something with positions here about slipping out, but also during penetration, you probably know yourself that the, the penetra that the friction kind of depletes over the, over the um, over the shack kind of thing, for lack of a better word. It kind of, it starts off a bit with a lot of friction and that friction kind of depletes as, as the, as the arousal increases, you know? So it's very important to have that pelvic floor strength to kind of almost massage the penis. Yeah, so slipping out, yeah, positions are very important. And I've been with guys who have much smaller penises than this. And I was with a guy who I would say had a micro penis. It was actually just the width of my hand, the whole thing when it was hard. So imagine that was a lot smaller and it was thinner as well. And I was thinking when I first saw it, how is a condom gonna fit on that? But however, we did manage to actually have um, good sex, but it, yeah, we were very limited with positions. We had to do doggy style a lot, and I could not go on top because I would have fallen out, would have slipped out a lot. But I didn't, I didn't stay with this guy for other reasons. But, um, but if I did over a long time, then of course I would be like working my pelvic floor strength so I could get very tight, you know. So another thing that's very important is um, is not to not to do just penetration. The emphasis there's too much emphasis on penetration in sex in general. And I think it would be very, a very good idea to really focus on, on foreplay. And foreplay, why is it called foreplay? It should be, it could be, I would suggest maybe experimenting with different things and, and eliminating penetration from your sexual encounters so that the size is not even an issue. For example, you can experiment with um, erotic massage, um, oral sex, caresses, there's so much to do. I mean, it's not just about penetration. And also recently I've been doing some online courses and I, I did one a few months ago about female orgasm. And it was about, um, I'll leave a link in the description below, but it was literally um, a very thorough guide about all the different erotic responses in the female body. And I think if a man is curious about how to provide pleasure, that could be one way to really to really learn more about the, the female anatomy and also communication and an open mind, but not just penetration, penetration, especially if it's um, making you feel inadequate. And also, yeah, just so, so I would say of the whole sexual activity spectrum, don't let penetration be more than 25% or even less. And then I think that, yeah, you can experience lots and lots of different things. So with sex toys, um, I don't know. I think um, for me, if my focus w is, is usually on, on the clitoris than actually sticking big things inside me. And I think most women do need clitoral stimulation to actually reach orgasm. So I would really focus on that, becoming a really good, really good at oral sex. Or, or touching and always asking questions and um, maybe maybe be with a better partner, a partner who's actually gonna help you feel good about yourself. I think that's really, really, really important. Yeah, so let me see if I can, if I can uh, help you with anything else here. It's very, it makes me very sad that you try and get, try and finish as quick as possible so the awkward, awkwardness is gone. That suggests to me that you're not, um, 
having a good com um, good communication good communication with your lovers i think it's really important to have good communication so yeah so i hope this helps anyway and hope this helps anyone who has any issues with um penis size and remember you've got to think about why you're having these issues if you think you're not good enough it might be because that you're watching too much porn and remember in porn i mean people play with the angles a lot and they're usually men that are kind of very well endowed and, and don't think that all oh, women want that type of penis because that can be very painful and limiting. And I can tell you something like this is very, 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 is more than enough. So yeah, so concentrate on the hardness and for hardness, you're gonna need a healthy lifestyle, a relaxed mind, the blood flowing where it's supposed to flow. And yeah, Aww. so anyway, so I hope, um, I hope this helps and if you have any questions yourself about um, anything to do with sex toys, orgasms, sexuality, dating, orgasmic living, then please don't hesitate to write to me at venus at venusohara.org or you can add me on Instagram at venusohara. And if you ask me a question, just go ahead and ask. But remember that I'm going to actually make a video to answer and I will not use any names. It's a real it's a real pleasure to help people enjoy their bodies and their sex lives more. So thank you. That's a pleasure for me and I hope I can help you too. Anyway, see you next time.